Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Felix and this is Core Union. I wanted to expand a little bit on the idea of when you answer the calling that's deep down in your soul, it's already done. Like in other words, the relationship with you and your person already exists and it already existed before you even met them. Then you just have to trust in that and surrender to it. You don't have to do anything. Everything that has to happen is already happening. It's happening now. Everything is happening now. So <laughs> I've always manifested from this perspective. I started manifesting reverse engineering things back in 2005. Anything that I've manifested, I attribute to this. Feeling into your desired end doesn't have to be a big complicated thing. As I'm talking to you, I am literally feeling in the feeling place of me and my Marisol Hana in our dream home. That is exactly the space that we want. It is like our own little private oasis. It's our own compound. We're both homebodies. We're both introverts. And it has everything that we could possibly want. I can feel into that as I'm talking to you guys. I can literally feel the happiness of it. I can even almost have, I can sense seeing us in the kitchen cooking together while I'm talking to you guys literally right now. Okay. That's from my perspective. So I don't have to worry. Will there, will there be things in the 3D that will come up that might kind of oppose it? Will there be little challenges that I may have to go through with the exact property and this and that? Perhaps. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about it if it does. The whole point is I trust in my end because I know that that end exists literally right now. From this perspective, you can start to feel a little lighter and relaxed. Before I do get into this, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. And sorry about that, buddy. And if you need coaching, feel free to email me at kim at coreunion.com and just give me a short description of what's going on between you and your person. I'll reply back with my first available, and then you can book your session through my website. I made it easy. So there was this situation that I was in a few years back, and I want to use this as an example because I think it's a very good example, that um, I was I was refinancing something and the underwriter of the loan said that I had to pay off something for $28,000 in a very short amount of time. I basically, naturally, I started doing some inner work around it. I knew that the end existed where everything was okay, where this was paid off. I imagined naturally... First, the end, I went straight to the end that this is all behind me and that it's done. What needed to be paid off is paid off, okay? I didn't know how it was gonna happen. I naturally just started imagining the person that was helping me, the person that was between me and the underwriter, literally just saying to me, okay, Kim, you're all set. And I would have different little imaginary acts of this inner conversation that I was having. So I would have some affirmations that I said, I trusted in the end. I trusted in my soul, what my soul was telling me. I trusted in God. And so I would say some affirmations around it. I don't remember what they were right now. And then I would see this person just telling me that I was all set and me responding back. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for all your help, whatever it was. And maybe there were a few different inner conversations. I always always, always, no matter what it is that I want to experience in my reality, I always get really clear of what it is. That is what my soul's desire is. So I know that it already exists. So I don't have to question that. I get clear and I trust in it and I surrender to it. I always say some affirmations around it. Then I will say something to whomever is on the other end of that, because mind you, everything that we're experiencing has something to do with other people in our reality. So I would hear myself say something to them, and then I hear them say something back. And that's basically how we naturally live our lives is having inner conversations with people. So you just learn that you trust in your soul and that you change your inner conversations. And I always do have inner conversations with my, along with my affirmations. So what ended up happening was after a little bit of time doing this, I went into work one day and we were talking on the phone and she said, have you, have you logged into your bank account yet today? And I said, no. So she said, go ahead and do it. When I did, she wired me $28,000 so I could pay the thing off. Now I did I so let's let's step back from this. If I had if I had tried to make that happen, I probably would have been so stuck in my brain like of questioning this isn't going to happen. 
Why would she do this? Why would she wire me money? I've never had anybody wire me money out of nowhere, let alone $28,000 and let alone from a practical stranger. So this would seem very outlandish to me. And this is the how. So I didn't go there at all. And I just naturally imagined her telling me it was okay. Just get really clear on what you're feeling deep down in your soul and know that you wouldn't be feeling it so deeply unless that end actually existed. So you don't have to make it happen. You just literally go to your end and trust in that and don't worry about the how. A lot of you guys get stuck in the middle because you're constantly wavering, which is normal. It's part of it. So be gentle with yourself. But please remember that you wouldn't have the soul's desire unless it was an end that existed with your person already. Okay. This is who you're supposed to be with. The love of your life. If you know deep down that this is the love of your life, they know it too. And just trust in your end and don't stop persisting in it. No matter what comes up in your 3D reality, just trust in it and have belief in it. Believe in yourself, believe in them, believe in the relationship and believe in God, okay? The most important thing from my perspective is that you literally just trust what's in your soul and that you trust the process over everything else because we do go through a process where we might get tripped up with our fears, worries, and doubts. And that's okay. And it's normal. And we all go through that. Again, if you need help with the process, email me and we can do coaching together. If not, you can do it yourself. You don't need coaching. But this is my perspective. I do believe that that what we want with our person already existed before we even met them. And then we just have to challenge and face our limiting fears, worries, and doubts with it, knowing that the end, again, it already exists. And you just allow it all to unfold naturally. Okay. So that's really all I want to talk about today. I love you so much. Please do affirm below that you know that the end exists with you and your person. However, you want to label the relationship, it doesn't really matter that you trust in it, that you trust in God, that you know it's done, and that you trust in your soul's desire. You know that your soul's desire is a promise. Affirm below however you want, even if it's with just a heart that you know that this is true. Okay. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Felix says bye-bye and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.